former Secretary of State George Shultz, who helped guide America out of the Cold War and served in four different cabinet-level posts, died Saturday at the age of 100. A key figure in the 20th century American politics, Shultz served as Richard Nixon, Secretary of Labor, Director of the Office of Management and Budget, and Secretary of the Treasury. As Secretary of State for Ronald Reagan, he was essential in improving relations with the Soviet Union using the tools of democracy. He negotiated the first ever uh, diplomacy, sorry. He negotiated the first ever treaty to reduce the size of the Soviet Union's ground-based nuclear arsenals despite fierce objections from Mikhail Gorbachev to Reagan's strategic defense initiative. Schultz was the longest-serving Secretary of State since World War II and had been the oldest surviving former cabinet member of any administration. Former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, reflecting in his memoirs on the, quote, highly analytic, calm and unselfish Schultz, paid Schultz an exceptional compliment in his diary. If I could choose one American to whom I would entrust the nation's fate, in a crisis, it would be George Schultz. That is quite wow. a compliment. Let's bring in right now the uh, columnist and associate editor for The Washington Post, David Ignatius, uh, whose latest piece is about the secrets to George Schultz's success, seeing uh, remembrances of Schultz. Uh, Mikhail Gorbachev saying, uh, what a compliment uh, for, 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 for Mikhail Gorbachev to say this. He said, yes, the Cold War would not have ended uh, without Ronald Reagan, but Ronald Reagan couldn't have done it without George Schultz. And then, of course, there was that remarkable moment when he walked uh, all the way up steps slowly uh, in a quiet audience to shake the hands of Chevron Nazi, uh, the new Soviet uh, foreign minister. Uh, he not only could play it tough, uh, and he could be tough. We've all heard personal stories about that, but also. He knew when to use a kind gesture to make a big difference. Mm. Joe, it was precisely that combination that made him such a rare man. I had the opportunity to cover George Shultz as Secretary of State when I was diplomatic correspondent for The Wall Street Journal in 1984 and 85. And I remember that glacial stare that I was describing. It was completely intimidating. <laughs> Uh, for, for a young journalist, for, for anybody. Um, George Schultz had been a Marine. He'd landed on Guadalcanal during World War II. He'd uh, lettered in two sports, football and basketball at, at Princeton. He, he was a tough guy. I, I liken him to the cowboy in the movies who's got that gentle smile, but you know, <laughs> do not mess with this guy. But he combined that with a rare quality of vision and judgment. And he had, he had the vision to see that something was changing in Russia. He convinced Ronald Reagan to take this possibility of change seriously. He began to open the doors intellectually to the possibility of a, of a different kind of Soviet Union, the end of the Soviet Union, finally. Um, so he is a, a significant person in this story. Just to say one more thing about him. He embodied that tradition of, of public service that Mika's dad embodied, that so many of the figures that you write about, Joe, in your book about Harry Truman embodied, that carried the nation forward through these Cold War years. George Schultz was part of that chain of, of public service, uh, and it was a, a, a just such a blessing that he lived a long life and was articulate, lucid to the very end because he continued through the Trump years to express <clears throat> that public service perspective and to be critical of Trump, to try to give leadership to people who looked, looked up to him. So in sum, he was, he was a rare man. We're all lucky to have, to have had him in government working for us. And, and, and Gene, you know, um, there is, uh, in one of the obits <clears throat> about him, there's a story of, of his kindness and uh, uh, a reporter going to talk to Chevron Odyssey <clears throat> as he was suffering from Parkinson's. He stumbles across his room and he picks up a stack of papers and they were all Christmas cards <clears throat> from George Schultz. And so that was the good side of him. That was the kind side of him. But again, he could also be very tough, even late into life, uh, went out to visit uh, 
uh, the Hoover Institute and institution, and he was there was a story of a that there that we're still talking about. Uh, one of Trump's cabinet members had gone out to talk, <clears throat> and after it was over, there was applause. George Shultz slowly walked up to him, and he said, "You know, of all of the people I've been blessed to meet in my remarkable life." You were, without a doubt, the least impressive. <laughs> <laughs> There's a 96-year-old man yeah. still throwing a 101-mile-an-hour fastball. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.